Hey guys, Shadow Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'll be showing you all how to fly any pelican in Halo Infinite's multiplayer. So, first of all, a huge shout out to Oakum for figuring all this out. He actually explained it to me in my Discord server and helped us a lot with this video too. Uh, you can check out his channel using the link in the description below. Alright, so, to do this, you first need to set it up in Forge on Halo Infinite. And in Forge, it's very simple, actually. You just need to first spawn a pointer object. It's a scripting object, if I recall correctly. And just set, up, uh, set it up like how I have it. Just place it over there and uh, make sure it has like a certain uh, radius to it so that you could uh, include the pelicans within that radius. And it doesn't need to be like super exact. You just need to have it like generally like how I have it. And then after that, place a script brain down. And that's all you need to place down in Forge. Now, of course, to get out of the map here, first of all, uh, you do need to do some things to, to get out of the map. And you can look up other videos how to do that. There's a lot of methods to do that. Or I can upload a video later. But it's really simple to get out of the map. And that's what you need to do first, actually place these objects. Uh, and then after that, you need to create your node graph. So you can just pretty much copy exactly what I'm showing you here. Uh, I would pause the video if I were you so you could uh, uh, follow along. Uh, but here's the original screenshot that Oakum uh, sent. And you could just... Uh, you know, just set it up exactly like how it is here, and you can see what it does there as well. But basically, the script just grabs a reference to the pelicans that are on the uh, ground here, or any pelicans nearby, because there are other pelicans on other maps, like in BTB maps when it drops vehicles off. It grabs a reference to that, and then once it has that, once you're in custom games, and you mark the ground or ping the ground, you'll die instantly, and it'll respawn you in a copy of that vehicle, which is what we have here. You don't actually drive the actual pelicans on the ground there. You just kind of respawn in a copy of those pelicans. And on this map in particular, on Live Fire, you can actually fly quite a lot around the map. You gotta be careful though. There's like a lot of barriers and areas where you could get stuck or teleported back in the map. But you can actually do quite a lot of flying here. And it's uh, it's pretty fun to do. It's really, it's really cool. And you can do it on other maps as well. Uh, any map where a pelican flies in at a certain point. As long as it's within the radius of the pointer, then you can actually grab the reference to it and then spawn in it. You can also get it out of the driver's seat too and see the inside of the cockpit. Uh, in fact, this is like the campaign pelican too. Like, it's a cinematic one. A everything is in here. Uh, the whole, all the details that you see in that first cutscene of the pilot, it's all here. Which is actually interesting because the pelicans on the ground that it grabs the reference from, those pelicans are not the campaign pelicans. The the interior, there's nothing inside. So it's actually very interesting that the game can actually grab the campaign pelican for you this way and then spawn it in and let you fly it. Uh, of course, it's not perfect when you fly it. You can see that your Spartan kind of stands up in the seat as you're flying. Uh, but it works. And it works in um, you know with multiple players as well, not, not just yourself. Uh, once you're in-game, you know every player... You can do the exact same thing. Just ping the ground, they'll die, and then they'll respawn in the pelican. And you can have uh, the whole lobby in pelicans if you want. Although it'll be, uh, on a map like this, it'll be pretty, uh, pretty crazy. But yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It works. Of course, on this map, it's easy because those pelicans are sitting there in almost the entire game. But uh, on other maps, you have to like time it just right so that once the pelican drops a vehicle off, you can actually uh, grab it and it spawn in it. Now another cool thing that Oakum showed us is that you could also do like a separate script where you know you could use like a volume like this per se and uh, if your pelican flies through it you could actually teleport all the bots in a match into the back of the pelican into the passenger seats and into the co-pilot seat as well of your pelican and then once you get out you can, the bots will actually get out as well and they'll just get out their seat and you can see the pe the pelican actually has landing animations too. It, it, it'll um, retract its landing gear, or drop its landing gear, and it'll open the hatch. And you can get into the back of the pelican. And again, it's the fully detailed one. You, you, the the whole crane that the pilot uses to get Master Chief is in the back of the pelican as well. Uh, so really cool stuff here. Unfortunately, he couldn't get players into the back of the pelican. Only bots for some reason. Uh, but still cool to be able to like fly bots around and you know even like open up the rear hatch and see the inside of the pelican so yeah it's a little fun thing extra thing you could do there with uh, flying the pelican here but yeah aside from that it's it's just really cool to, be able to fly the campaign pelican and see the interior of the cockpit like I don't, I don't really think you get many opportunities to see this uh and uh some other like weird 
uh, glitches you could do with this is that like if you if you're in the back of the pelican and you do like a lot of like crazy like knocking the pelican around you might actually be able to clip into the uh, the middle room of the pelican this is the this is the room between the cockpit and the, the passenger part of the pelican the cargo area and we actually don't see this room at all in cutscenes like we, we kind of see it like the door open to it but we don't see the interior of it I think the only other time we could see this is like on Microsoft Flight Simulator, if you fly the Pelican, you could like move the camera to the back there. But in gameplay of Halo Infinite, I don't think, I don't think we've ever had a chance to see that section. Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, it just, I don't recall any other instance where you could see that. But now you can see it, and in multiplayer too. So there you guys have it. Uh, it's a really cool thing that Oakham found that you could do in Forge and custom games in Halo Infinite's multiplayer. And you know, you can now finally actually fly a Pelican again. Because I know in Campaign 343 removed the ability to fly Pelicans. And you know, since then we haven't really had an actual way to do it that until now. So once again, really cool find thanks to Oakham. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. If you do try this out yourself, have fun. Uh, but aside from that, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave thoughts in the comments, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!